Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Seth, and this is my 10 day recap on the Pacific Crest Trail. And I will get to that, but first, why don't you hit that subscribe button for me, would you? Okay, well now that we're done with formalities, I'm gonna try to shoot this video in one take because I'm out on the trail and I don't really know how to edit on my iPhone very well yet. And I don't have any Wi-Fi anywhere. So I'm just gonna kinda try to go through the lowdown of what's been going on. Uh, 10 days in, I am about a fifth of the way through the hike. And I had to start out, I wasn't able to make it to the border. I wasn't able to get a ride to the border. So I had to start out 26 miles up trail, and then I walked back to the border, and then started my way up. So I think I'm about 85-ish uh, miles in, which is considerably longer. I mean, on the actual trail, I've put in over 100 miles, which is way more than I've ever done. And honestly, this has been going fantastic, I would say. This is about uh, exactly what I was hoping for. The people have been amazing so far that I've met. It's nice to be around like-minded people that don't think you're crazy for wanting to live like a hobo for months. The scenery has been absolutely spectacular. I hope that you guys uh, have been able to see some of the stuff that I've been posting on Instagram and Facebook. And if not, go ahead and look me up on Instagram. I'll try to put a little thing in the video, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. So it's just Seth Lindquist on Instagram. Go ahead and check that out. I'm also posting them on Facebook, but everything else, I mean, everything is going fantastic. I started out probably a little bit harder than I should have. I started out doing 16 miles the first two days, which I felt fantastic, but day three, I have to admit. So the way that I've been doing it, I try to kind of hike in the morning and then I'll take a really long break during the middle of the day when it was hot. And on day three, I stopped around probably three or four o'clock, got some food and laid down, and I actually didn't get up for like 17 hours. I just laid there because I was exhausted. And I wasn't eating very much food, which is kind of common, at least for me, to not eat a lot of food right at the beginning. Speaking of which, I didn't, for the first like four days, I didn't have a little soaking container to do... I tried to use plastic bags to do cold soaking and that didn't work. I spilled it immediately, it leaked everywhere. So I had to go back into town and got a little container to do, actually it's right here. So it's just your normal uh, little container. I actually have a package of soup in there at the moment that I'm gonna dry soak, or cold soak. I don't know why I say dry soak. But once I got that, that has definitely stepped up the cooking game. Uh, the I'll try to do a little bit more videos or take some pictures of it, but there's been some really good food. I had um, I had a really good scramble one morning with eggs, onions, potatoes, garlic salt, and uh, a few other things I can't remember, but it actually turned out really, really well. I've only used in 10 days. I haven't cooked a lot. I generally will only cook at night just to heat something up, drink my coffee cold. I do a little protein shake in the morning, but... Other than that, everything has been going pretty fantastic. I do have some kind of gnarly blisters on my the pads of my feet, which have been my limiting factor. I wasn't sure at first if they were just overworked pads, but eventually I had a night I had a sneaky suspicion that there were some blisters in there and they've finally come to the surface ish which is good because I can address them I can drain them and and do this and that and the other but pads my feet are still just absolutely killing me and I'm hoping everything else feels great all my legs legs feel great back feels great everything just the pads of my feet are taking a beating so I've got a few more days I'm going to be up in I We'll have an opportunity to go to Bend in another week or so, and if these, if the pad, if this thing doesn't kind of sort itself out, I might have to go look at some different shoes because I can't just keep going 12 or 15 miles a day. I really want to step it up. But that's basically kind of what I've been doing. Uh, the thing that's really been the biggest, I don't know, challenge or learning curve for me is just dealing with water. I always hike places where you can go. I always hike by a river or a stream. A lake anything like that so water's never really a concern but here it's just and I use a lot more water during the mornings and the eve in the evenings so trying to dry camp isn't exactly ideal so I, I generally try to stop right around water which has been fine and easy enough to do but it does definitely limit 
how far you're gonna go if you don't push on. So that's about it. Some other things, let's see what else has gone on the trail. I have, my water filter is leaking. <laughs> Which is fine. I have a seal. It was actually, I, at first it was the bag that I bought, that platypus bag that I don't have right now. Somehow the threads are all screwed up on there and it wasn't working. So I'm just going, just using my bottles, which is what I see most of the through hikers doing anyway. I do, I am holding on to that bag just because there are some streams and stuff that you can't get. I have a liter and a half smart water bottles, which are pretty big. So you can't exactly get them into every little area. So I'm holding on to the bag. I might get another filter just because the seal in there is a little bit old and it keeps falling out. But it seems to be doing its job. The other thing, I don't have it on me, but my headlamp, the back of it where the strap connects, just disintegrated in the first couple days. First part of it broke, like the second or third day, part of it broke. And then the day after that, the rest of it just broke off. So what I actually did, I don't have it on me right now, but I just took floss and sewed it <laughs> directly to the mechanism or the, the lamp, whatever it was, so that seems to be doing fine. I've packed way too much food, which is f good. I would much rather be on that end of the spectrum. And yeah, like I said, the cooking, cooking's been going well. I just got my first resupply, which was a pleasant, a pleasantry to say the least. I was able to give a gentleman by the name of Nighttime, which I day drank with a gentleman named Nighttime. We, I was able to give him a bunch of food, and I'm about ready to head out. I know I'm headed right into mosquito territory and a long water haul in the next few days, so it should be interesting. That is pretty much all I've got for the recap of 10 days so far on the Pacific Crest Trail. I have been taking lots of pictures. I am going to try to do more videos. I want to do more of this, but yeah, if you like this at all, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, feel free to share it, I wouldn't mind at all, and follow me on my journey. And if you have an opportunity, come join me. Alright, thanks for watching.